Yeah, can you tell us a little bit about the the, the particularities of, or of this album? So, you know, like the fact that you mix genres, etc. So oh, yeah. Well, this album, yeah, this is my uh, crossover record. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is the album where I brought in a lot of people from mainstream, mm -hmm. R&B, soul, mm -hmm. hip-hop, that, that world, and kind of mixed it with... Uh, my world, which is that world also, and jazz. So um, this is the record. This was really not really for the jazz audience. This record was aimed for the mainstream audience who probably doesn't listen to jazz to get them to come over to our side. You know what I mean? Because I feel like jazz needs a new, hipper, younger audience. Mm -hmm. And we don't really, the average jazz musician doesn't have that. So. I kind of aim this album to be to, for more mainstream people to check out and be like, oh, what's this? Uh, then they come to the show. You know, then the audience gets bigger and more diverse. You know what I mean? So um, that was the point of that. That's why I have all these kind of special guests on there. And uh, you were t you were talking about the special guests. So I listened to the to the album as well uh, a couple of times, and uh, and I have to say, even though you have different guests, I saw that, that there was like, like one sound. Exactly. Uh, how did you manage to do that? I managed to do that. I think it's because the guests I chose are people that we've already played with before. We've already have a rapport musically, mm -hmm. which is why I chose them, those guests because I've already done stuff with them, and we have like minds musically, and also because. Um, I feel, well, the, re the way I recorded it, um, I pretty much used the same instrumentation on every song. I pretty much used piano and Rhodes, drums, bass, and Casey doing his sounds. And this pretty much stays that. So that's kind of the backbone for the whole record, the sound of what we're playing. So it sounds like one big show, and everybody just coming on stage singing their song in a way. You know what I mean? So that's kind of why I didn't want it to sound like a, you know, Compilation. Every every track is something different. And it's kind of random and out of nowhere. You don't want the sound seamlessly like a story. So. But even if you use the same instrumentation, you know, some people are trying to use the same instrumentation, and they have guests, but it doesn't sound like exactly. that. But can you tell me a little bit about the process? How did this uh, whole project start? I mean, how did it start? Where did the ID come from? And, and also a little bit about the process of how you chose among your many musician friends the one that would perform on this album. Um, this project was talked about when I first got signed to Blue Note in 2005. My a at the time, Eli Wolf, we, when I got signed, he was like, hey, at some point, I want to do a record where you kind of showcase your other side. Because at that time, I was most Def's music director. I was playing with Bilal. So I was, I was common, you know, Eric. I was, I was in and out doing different things. So it was really all about timing. Because I definitely wanted to solidify myself as a jazz pianist and get that respect first. Mm -hmm. And I also love piano trio. So I definitely wanted to do that first. So I can get that respect. Because I, I think if, if I would have came in at this angle just for, off top, I wouldn't get the respect of musicians and, and certain, certain crowds, you know what I mean? But now that I have the respect of a pianist, um, I pretty much can do, now I can have fun and kind of do what I want to do and, and you know, just you know, do different projects and see where it takes me. And they respect those projects more because they, they know where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I chose these artists because, yeah, I've worked with them before and they're my, they're my friends. So I actually had too many artists. I had to like take some off <laughs> to make this work. So that could be a part two, you know. So I didn't want to, I, I didn't want to use up all of my possibilities on one record. So um, I chose these artists and, um, you know, it was pretty much, I just, literally, I just text everybody. <laughs> Really? You just did, I mean, you're just like, okay, I really want to do that, and then so yeah. you just texted everybody. I texted Erica, hey, I'm, I'm doing this record, I would love for you to be on it, it's kind of a crossover record. Like, I'll be on it, let's do it. That's it. 
That's pretty much what happened with everyone. Mm -hmm. The only problem was scheduling because everybody schedule, you know, I got 12 artists on there. Everybody's schedule's crazy. Everybody has new records out. It's, you know, Lupe had a new record out. Um, Stokely had a new record out. Layla had a new record out. Legacy had a new record out. So it's very hard to get everybody in one place, you know what I mean? But luckily we did it and it, it worked out. So I'm still flabbergasted. Like, how did I do that? It was crazy. <laughs> So pretty much you, you, you were like the, the head also uh, yeah. in everything and coordination, production and mm -hmm. musically. That, yeah, but I, musically, once we sat down to play, I don't think I ever said anything. I don't have to say much. We just go, because they're all geniuses in my band. Those guys are like just amazing. So anything they bring to the table, I want it. You know what I mean? So I, I, I don't dictate things. If you see us on stage or see us playing in the studio, you wouldn't know who's the leader because I'm not that kind of dude when it comes to that kind of stuff because I choose the guys I chose because I want them to be them. So that, that makes it even more special. If I know what every, if I know how I want everything to sound, and I want every, I'm not going to be surprised or feeling anything new or special because I'm dictating everything, you know what I mean? So I like to be surprised. And that's what they do. They surprise the hell out of me all the time. <laughs> But uh, when uh, people go and buy your music either online or in a store, so ideally, in which category would you like the people to find the CD? I mean, ideally speaking, so because you don't want it's a crossover. So right. what would you like? I like to go to the jazz section. It's bringing them over. You know, it's like bringing them over. I don't want to make it too easy for them. I do want it to be easy, but at the same time, if they really want the record, I just just go to the jazz section, and then they'll just unconsciously give them an understanding that jazz doesn't sound one way. You know what I mean? A lot of people have a notion that jazz sounds a certain way, and a lot of people are playing jazz that sounds a certain way, but everything doesn't sound a certain way. Everything, there are different things out there, so I think if they have to go to the jazz section, it'll, it'll strike a chord. Present in this in this way, jazz today, the modern jazz or the voice of jazz today. Totally, I think I, I represent um, where jazz has ended up now. You know, I think jazz grows every year since 1930. You know, every 10 years it was something different. The change, the sound changed. You know what I mean? So, I think this is just where we ended up. We ended up with, you know, a generation that has a whole lot of music to look back on. A generation that has a whole lot of music that influences them, because we have so much to look back on, and there's new music. So we're a, we're a we're a, a generation of influenced people. So this is what our jazz sounds like, you know.
before you mentioned kind of what I'm gonna ask right now. So you said you had like too many artists. So can we expect uh, any second part or what? Did this project inspire some new ideas and yeah. uh, new projects in the future? This project definitely inspires some new projects. I don't, I don't know exactly what they are, but I think they're going to be some guest projects, like maybe guests from other ends of the world, other other kinds of music, you know, different things. So more of this, you know, I don't know. I'm, I, I have a few different options in my mind I'm going through, so I'll just see where it lands. You know.